Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Music Madness. One of our sponsors this week, The Pizza Stop. It's a host New York, Ontario Street. Check it out. Damn. I want to thank you guys. We'll be seeing you soon. Hello everybody, welcome to episode 3, Monday Night Music Madness. I want to welcome you from Johnny World, Radio Radio X. This week sponsored by... Okay, did Chrome Food and Spirits. Hi guys. And also this week, the Pizza Stop, Ontario Street Coast, New York. We want to thank you guys for the great pizza and wings. Check them out. Tonight we're going to start off, it is the holiday season, but uh, I don't really care what you want for Christmas. How's that? <laughs> I want to welcome my guest, Patrick Mendolte, Donald Hello. Cherry, the great Jason Bittner, vocal legend Vegas Nacy. Now, as a matter of fact, before we continue, this was in my mailbox today, <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. And I don't know why you arrived today, they must have knew you were coming me. <laughs> but here, so man, it's a free lesson. <laughs> Why, thank you. It's about time. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Better like that. <laughs> Merry Christmas, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Making our Christmas gifts. Uh, uh, Try so online anyway. singing lessons, but just did it up frustrated. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you have confidence while singing? <laughs> that person's watching us right <laughs> That's now. What? Why good? Yes. Hey, they just this doesn't work, work either. <laughs> yeah, yes, I do have yeah. confidence when I'm singing. Bingo. <laughs> So anyway, Patrick, Jesus Christ, you're keeping busy, right? I am. You're, you're uh, in what? Acoustic trauma, river junction, fucking major function, conjunction junction, five bands. I don't know. What are you doing these days? I hear well, everything you just said. I can't. <laughs> I can't even begin to repeat it. Uh, yeah, me neither. Yes, you know, besides the many years I've spent with. Yeah. How many years do you think that was? You and I. The first ten, and then the second. Ten, <laughs> you know, with uh, probably felt like a hundred to you, though, didn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I know it did. I know it did. <laughs> Ran me through the ringer, you cunt. Yeah. Well, how do you think my liver feels? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're Irish. We say that word. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. And Darla Cherry, owner proprietor of Crown Food and Spirits, who's keeping the rock alive. Right. And I do always say that to me. In this day and age, it's the closest we have to a Saratoga winter. It's a little it classier, yeah, totally. but uh, Thank you. it is, Darla. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Better smelling bathrooms, that's for God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> if you all know me, I was a big Saratoga winners fan back right. in the day. We I was there pretty much every weekend with all you guys. Yeah. And during the week. And during the week. <laughs> there were no, no, I don't mean you. I mean me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that like, yeah, like yeah. Wednesday through Sunday. Right. It, it was every, mm -hmm. every night you could go and see a great show there. So that is my... My goal for Chrome to try to get to that level. I'm almost six years in. Yeah, you're well, you're it. you're doing, you're doing a hell of a job. I Absolutely. think. Absolutely, thank you. Trying. You're doing it. Thank <laughs> you. Tapping it. And yeah. Jason Bettner, where do we even start with you, my brother? Talk about hometown boy doing well. Stigmata. Uh, come on, rattle off. I can't even name them all. Of course, Brand now. Human, China White. Crisis, which is really the first band I started touring with, which is that's kind of what took me out of the local area. area. Right, right. But for some reason, I still never left Stigmata yeah, until keep, like a couple of years ago, really. I mean, it was just that. Yeah, that you keep the ties local. It's, well, we stayed a band because like when I joined Crisis, Mike had left. He moved to he moved to New York to tattoo full time. So we kind of fell apart. I joined Crisis, toured with them for a year, thought that I didn't like touring at all realized I just didn't like touring in the band that I was in which is right. a it was big a difference from whether or not you don't like touring or not well no, that's got a lot like to do when you're with. traveling around with a bunch of mates all the time right and right? it wasn't the people it was specifically one person Karen <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can say that now. Merry it's Christmas, 20, Karen. Twenty years later, Merry <laughs> Christmas, Karen. You bitch. Oh. So, anyways, uh, the names have not been changed to protect me. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. I could care less. So, but and then when, when I when I left that because I didn't think that I wanted to, you know, to do that right. as part of my life. And I do have to make a disclaimer on that too because I'm still very close with Abzal and Gia from Crisis, and they are two lovely people. So. When I came back, 
I had even told myself, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna just like take like six months off and not even play in a band, just like just chill just it. get away. And that was like when I was 28. Right. <laughs> I was back in Stigmata with like three days. <laughs> three <laughs> days. Wow. 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 Hey man, uh, you want to come back to the band? I was just like. Yeah, all right. Dude, it was all like, right. That was like three days of detox. It, it really it, it, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was that was enough time. Um, so it's like me and him, right? The same so, thing. So yeah, every stay, time I think I I'm out, he pulls me back. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. It's like the mafia. So <laughs> oh, I don't. I, know I stayed. That, I stayed with them for for all that time, and even all the time that I was in Shadows Fall. You know, Stigmata was still like. We were just like this horse that would get up and run a race every yeah, once in a while, right. you know. And someone, hey, you want to do a show next year? And it's sure, we'll do a, a blast every time you do that, right? They, at first, they were really fun, and then, and then, and the more reunions that you do, yeah, right, right, less people come because then they go, all right, they're going to play next year again anyway. Yeah, I was right. going to say it's not really a reunion if you're doing it every year. Right? Exactly, exactly. Well, Kiss is not a big reunion tour again. <laughs> well, yeah. Supposedly, well, it's Motley Crew. Yeah, 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 there you Thanks. go. So is my Yeah, we will never tour Great. again. But did they? Uh, <laughs> but did, did, did they keep going for every year, or had they been? Motley Crue's been shut no, down. No, they they signed a contract and everything, saying they would never tour again. These guys, and then they ripped it up, and they blew it up. <laughs> there, there was a loophole in the contract that said if all four agree. They could blow up the contract. Well, fucking all four would have to agree to do it anyway. So what kind of shit is that? Right. <laughs> you know? Right. Well, you could just go the Black Crow's way and just take the two hire guys and, and just un- hire a bunch of nobodies un- and un- pay nobodies. them a third of what they would yeah. have paid the rest of the band. Yeah, exactly. Which is ridiculous. You can't call yourself the Black Crow's either. You should exactly. call yourself the Robinson Brothers. I- exactly. I totally agree. But they own the name. What are you going to do? True. You know how it works. In Vegas over there. You're looking quiet tonight, my mate. I'm listening to all the stories. Yeah. J- Jason's not even done yet. That's okay. <laughs> well, we yeah. got time. No, we're going to go around. There's a lot of years. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Now I play uh, over. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, wait. We're going to go. We're going to keep it going. We got a long time to go if you started. But uh, tell us about you're in the Clay People now, right? I'm in the Clay People now, yeah. That's yeah. a lot of fun. Also been in a lot of bands in the area over the years. It, with Patrick. A couple. As well. Brews Brothers, baby. Brews Brothers. Oh, yeah. Brews Brothers. Maybe a little treat in uh, 2020. Yeah. Maybe a little oh, treat. Oh, we're getting a hint of something here. An exclusive <laughs> oh. by Monday Night Music Madness. Yeah, Ooh. it's time. It's, yeah, I it's think it is. Well, it, well, that's the same thing. It's going to be a saying. re-release of the... Right? Is that 21 what? years. Wow. Since the release, oh, hold on. Let me call Matt right now. <laughs> because, <laughs> hey, call him because he's not going to do this gig. So you guys better get me to fill in because he's going to tell you to go screw yourself. <laughs> he's already said yes, but sure, no, you you are, yeah, 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 did. Did. Oh, all right. I was going to say, uh, yeah, don't put your number away there, pal, because <laughs> you never know. He might be. Uh... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So and clay people. Yeah, clay yes, people. We're having what a blast. What do you guys got coming up? You got some shit coming up, don't you? We don't have anything right now. At the end of the year, we're going to start writing again. Going right. back going to the back studio. Going back to record. Nice. Going back to the nice. studio. So, 2020 will be... 2020. Everybody. everybody will be seeing things better. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, that's good. why I put my glasses on. Yeah. I'm a number guy. 2020. Symmetry. I think I need some glasses. Like Hold on, man. I'll try the other ones. No, I'm going to try to eat. Yeah. The future's uh-huh. looking pretty good so far right. for, for 2020. Oh, man. Oh. Comes now together. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> are these are readers, right? Yeah, those are readers. Yeah, like, now I'm drunk. And they're dirty fucking readers at that. Holy crap. Well, obviously, I don't read uh, too much. Are, are, you re- <laughs> are you that blind? <laughs> Depends <laughs> on the night. I can, I can tell you this. When he's, in the ki- when, no, <laughs> when he's in the kitchen, I'll put a slip up for food, and I'll be like, what's this say? I'm like, put your glasses on. Like, is it? No, I just kitchen? ask him, what do you got there? What do you got? <laughs> What's on that slip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my rock star, like, and your wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top of the world, ma. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back to Jason because, Jesus Christ, I cut him yeah. off, and yeah. he's got tons and tons that's of stories. Right. So, go ahead, mate. Take the floor. You're, uh, you're going back on tour soon, ain't you? February 2020. The resuming, oh, there of, is the resuming of the Wings of War tour. Oh, nice final too. That's fucking killer. Me sitting in the ground in the New York, I was gonna New York say, Jersey I subway. That is a present for you, my friend. Oh. Holy good oh. shit! It's Christmas awesome. in Johnny World, man. You, know you see what? that? Thank you, Jason. I didn't even think oh, about it. Holy shit! That's killer. 
Well, you got Christmas. Burn you got well, you yeah, do say shameless right self-promotion, so. I think well, I shit. do somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to put that right there. So you got to do that. Uh, thanks, Jason. You're welcome. Very, very cool. So, the we we just actually, you know, I just got the dates today. Um, we start the 26th of February. Where are you going? Starting? Uh, we're actually starting in Anaheim. We're we're flying out. Oh, West Coast. On the West Coast. Nice. Yeah, we did away from the cold. We did the we did the uh, most of the East Coast uh, last year on the first first U.S. run. So this one is West Coast, down through Texas, uh, Florida, and then back up the East Coast, and we end in Jersey on uh, May March fourteenth. With uh, we're playing this place called the uh, the Wellmont Theater, which is a bigger room than the Starland Ballroom where, right. where we normally would play. Um, so we're going up to this bigger theater, but then MOD and Demolition Hammer are going to be on the bill too. So I was just like, I'm just like, like I went, I, I, D told me yesterday, I went, MOD is on MOD, the bill. Oh, oh shit! Right. And I, just, for, I almost choked on my. I didn't even know. For those who like, don't look, know, I didn't even know they did anything. MOD is yeah. what SOD became later when Billy right, Milano had right. his own has his own version of it. But Tim Mallory, who is one of my dearest friends and who was Overkill's drummer for years, and basically. The guy I became friends with and how I became friends with the band, Tim oh. was an MOD before he was an Overkill. Oh, no shit. So when yeah, Dean told me that yesterday, I go, oh my God, we should fly Timmy in and tell oh, him he's going to oh. sit in and make him think he's sitting in and we're Overkill. I go, no, we tell him he's sitting in with MOD. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so, anyway, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun. I'm looking sure. forward to the tour. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be us in uh, Exhorter. So that's going to be... Pretty interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to going out with those guys. Yeah, you know, man, that sounds they're, killer. They're having a resurgence, and they were pretty much known as one of the bands that had, like, you know, the Pantera sound pre-Pantera. Yes, right. You know, for the most part. So that's that's uh, that's the next run, and we've got a bunch of stuff that's happening after that. We're actually starting demos for the next record next month. Already? So we're already, wow. we're already, yeah, we're already, wow. we're still, keeping that ball rolling. Well, it's, huh? th that's the way this band kind of works because we don't tour, we don't tour like nine months straight with like six week tours and then go home and write a record. We, we, we go out for three weeks, we come home for a month, we'll work on some demos, we'll go out for a couple weeks, we'll come home for a few weeks. With, with these guys, that they've been doing it for so long, they have a yeah, way where God they want to have, man. we want to go and go and get it done. In a short amount of time with no days off, that's why we go and we do three week tours and it's eighteen shows in nineteen days. There's right. one day off and that's it. Right. And that's Last grueling thing. when you're just when you're just oh, blasting yeah. through that. But it's much it's much better than going for six weeks and on the four by the middle of the fifth week you're just like, Oh my god, I wanna die, I yeah. gotta go home. Zombie right So out. it's yeah. it's much better to don't do, even want to do the shows. No, yeah. you don't. You just want to get it over with so you can go back to your body. Well, they've been around long enough to know how to space themselves yeah. at this point. It, man, especially the singer, man. Like, Jesus yep. Christ. How yep. long has he been going? He's sixty. He's sixty years yep. old. Oh yep. fuck sakes. Yep. Okay. So uh still kicking balls. So yeah. Wow. That's that's Amazing. that's next year. We got you know, we got some festivals in, in Europe and we have a cruise in Europe later later in the fall in Japan. South America, wow. hopefully. Getting out we, there, my we, brother. There's a lot ah, of territories, to a lot you, of man. territories we didn't hit on the wings of war yet. So we're trying to to get everything covered before we, we go back to the studio. But that's gonna happen in the summer anyway. So like I said, we're we're working between that and like, Yeah, busy, busy, busy. And that and I have a... Next year, I have a record coming out um, with I have another band called Dark Day Sunday, which is more of just a studio project. But it's me and Frank Arresti, who was a guitar player in Fate's Warning for years. And uh, oh, Mark oh, Lopes shit. is a Very singer cool. who sings for Ross the Boss from Man of War. So I'm really looking forward to that because it's a wow, really, really, really intriguing. cool, cool bunch, yeah. bunch of tunes. And then we have a uh, big China White reunion this week. Oh, that's right. Yeah, tell everybody about that. That's um, Friday. Friday night, Friday night at, a, yes. at the Fuse Box. Yep. Uh, and then that's for Henry and Sean McFerrin, right? Correct. Yeah, and and I was a member of China Way from 94 to 98. So, you know, we did the, they did the first party at Chrome not too long ago. Yeah. And now Great we're, turn we're out. doing this, this one at the Fuse Box. But this one for me, from my personal standpoint, is going to be a, a better show because... That one, I was just, I was asked at the last minute, oh, do you want to play a song? And I was like, a song? Yeah. Right. I was in the band. What? Yeah, so this one, you're... Why am I getting asked at zero You're doing the whole drumming through the whole thing? 
Huh? You're drumming through their whole set this time? Well, what, what we're doing this time is we're basically, they're doing two sets. They're doing the version of the band that played at Chrome is going to play uh, a few songs. Oh, and then but the version before that, do? Before that, we're doing our set, which is pretty much like the record that I that I wrote and did oh, with the band. all right. That's cool. That and a couple of Very covers cool. and stuff. So we're looking yeah. forward, I'm looking forward to that because it it's, it's just been fun getting back and playing with Paul again. And... You know, we got Nick Stamus who plays guitar with Mariah. Oh no shit! And, yeah, uh, shout out Nick. I mean, I've known Nick for so for for great, years great because I, I, his kid, drummer man. is what was one of my students for years. So oh, I've known really? Nick since he was a kid. Yeah, but he's got guitar. all Henry's parts down. It sounds like it. He's using the gear like really. I was pretty pretty shocked last Tuesday when yeah. I went to jam with those guys. I was like, I looked at Paul like three songs in. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, this will work. This will work. Yeah, this will work. be all right. Very sweet. I just seen a video the other day. You had up with uh, jumping up with um, Vinny. Let you get jump up. And yeah, it was, was at Northern Lights. That was at Northern Lights. That was the second to last night. How cool that must. Well, it, was, have been. it was the last night. I know you were pretty us. tight with those guys. Yeah, it was. It, it's really, it's really surreal to talk about that. Yeah. Now yeah. because of what happened. And the video he's talking about is when I dressed up as Vinnie Paul. And yeah, that stage. was, come on, that was plan. pretty good. Played Walk with Damage Plan. The well, the story yeah, behind that, it was, it was funny behind that, I, I, I had pulled Dime aside a couple days prior to the tour, into the tour, I go, I said, dude, I, I, had already, I had already sat in and I played Walk with those guys like in Pittsburgh, which was like a week or so before we got to Northern Lights. Right. And I said to Dime, I go, Northern Lights is my hometown, I said, you know, I st or actually, I asked Vinny first. Said Northern Lights, my hometown. Do you think it'd be cool if I came up and play walk-in? He's like, sure, no problem. So I knew I was gonna go up and play the song. So a couple days before the song, I pulled Dime aside. I go, dude. I said, what do you think about this? I said, I'm gonna dress up as your brother and come up and <laughs> yeah, play walk. And he goes, just grab me. He goes, dude, you gotta do it. And I'm like, all right. I just got the blessing right there from his yeah, brother because yeah, because I was I hung out more. I mean, after Dime passed, obviously I hung out with Vinny a lot more right, because right. he was alive. But on that tour, I hung more with Dime than I did Vinny. So I was closer with Dime because I didn't know how Vinny was going to gauge that. that. I, I didn't want to piss him. To hang with that I didn't want to piss him off, you know. And yeah, he's like, right. no. He goes, no. You got to. You have to do it. Yeah, you and have I'm no like, choice. Right. So I did it, and he comes in the dressing room, and I'm putting the the tape beard on my face, and it's falling off, and he's just laughing his ass off. <laughs> ah, my brother's gonna yeah, shit. Yeah, that was that he's was. Going, my brother's good. gonna shit. I walked on stage, and I walked over, and I looked at Vinny, and Vinny just went. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, that's been killer, man. Well, people don't understand. That story, I mean, I, I, you know, I get goosebumps on that alone because people don't, they, crazy. you hear the story and it's insane on its own, but to realize that Jason is yeah. the last guy to ever play Walk With Dime, ever. Aside from his brother, which is just crazy. But, you yeah, know, imagine no, that. No, you are the last guy to play because hey, he, he passed before they played it again. Um, right? Just grab anyone and out of that that's bag. Insane. Me. It, it is, but you know what? The when every time I tell any of those stories, this blue thing, what I always have to think about and what always comes back to my mind is the fact that where we were, where we were all standing on stage when I was doing that, everybody was on stage. Yeah, all the bands. Yeah, that's how that tour was. Yeah, Good every party. night we were all watching each other. Yeah. So knowing that. Thinking about what happened in Columbus, yeah. every time I think about those stories, I go, "That could have been any fucking one of yeah, us. You bet right. you're any one of us. Oh, sure. Could have been any one of us. Sure. Sure. If we were still, if we were still on the road, like oh, that, you know? I might not even be and it was here talking to you right three now. Three days later, two days later, two days. Later. Oh, they had a day oh, off, oh, and then they went to that. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. So, so Vinny never played Walk again with him. You were the last. Dude, it's just oh, a, it's wow. just that yeah, is, right? That's yeah. surreal, right? Oh, that's I mean, fucking that's, insane, right? Well, yeah, that just oh, it, it, exactly. it is. It is. It's just, it's just. I didn't mean to bring up a downer. I just that's not a downer. It's not a downer. It's not. I just thought it was really it's cool. It, it's it's it. The overall thing is is a great memory. It's something that I never thought would happen right. in a million years. Yeah, it's right. just sad what happened. Yeah, yeah. After, of course. You know, morning. Well, not to perpetuate the downer, but going back to China White. Yeah. And our good buddy Jimmy Roberts was a yeah. longtime drummer with China yes, White, also, yes, who is no longer with us. Yep. When he uh, 
And it's just, you know, now we lost Henry and, and Sean, Sean first. And then Henry. It's like, it's yeah. just, what is going on here? You know, it's like, well, we're getting old. Then you look at the watch and you're like, oh my God. Yeah, but yeah. time has passed. But Jim yeah. Roberts you know, was like, a tough thing. That was. No, I know. Yeah, was, yeah that, was, that was. That was a tragic uh, accident. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it was, uh, you know. That was. But, okay, well, can we, we got to get off death. <laughs> well, I was. You're the one that went back on. I know. Fucking morbid. Give me that peace pipe. Hit him in the head with the axe. Yeah. What piece you want? <laughs> Not the axe part. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Patrick, what do you got going on? You guys are uh, playing a lot, right? You're still doing stuff with Acoustic Trial. Yes. Hey, Paul. You're out there. Hey, Paul. And Jason. Jason. Um, yeah. Not Jason uh, Bittner. He's right there. Jason Ellenbogen. Ellenbogen. <laughs> um, yes. We, Hi, Jason. We, we're actually in writing phase right now also. You got any gigs coming up? Or how about River no. Junction? Oh, well, that's a cover band. We're, yeah, we're out there. Look for us. You know, you'll find us. <laughs> we're doing a tour of the islands right now. Van Skyke Island. Hey, that's Island. my old yeah, man. Know, and you still yeah, my yeah. life, man. Hey, you well, oh. Whatever. <laughs> like you're the first one to say it. Yeah, right. Well, but anyways, yeah, actually, but, I think I was. Yeah, whatever. Who else would say Van Skyke Island? Anybody from Cohoes? <laughs> In a band? <laughs> Come on. Norm? He stole it. Anyone of the pretty uh, <laughs> Rab. Oh, Rab. He's older than you, dude. He's like 70. He yeah. might have said that long before you. So, hey, whatever. Holy shit. No, you didn't, Rab. <laughs> I'm staking a claim on that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yes, we are in writing phase. Big. No, we have no gigs coming uh, anytime soon right now. Getting through the holidays. Everybody's laying a little low. Right. And But we are in mad writing stage right now. Oh, and that's uh, cool. We're going. Paul, the mad more. scientist. Well, there's been no new material. Since me and Jason have joined the band, really, it, right. we've been dabbling with some things, and but that, that we haven't really weighed anything down yet. But now is the time, and we're going to start doing that, and it's going to be a little heavier trauma than a little more traumatic than it used to be. Yeah, we're, cause we're gonna be, me and Jason are pulling it to a little heavier side. That's um, cool. I'm glad to hear that. Way trippier because we are found a niche on the jam band circuit. Uh, playing psychedelic yeah. music, and it's and we all love doing it, but it opens up things for us, and uh, it's been really cool. It's been a really fun experience with these guys, because it's not something that I have done with my history. It's been with Attica, yeah. Bruce Brothers. It's always been heavy, you know. And it's like, yeah, well, I'm, temper with me. I'm just not that angry anymore, man. I got a couple. <laughs> I'm not that angry. I'm, just, I'm not that angry yeah. anymore. I got a couple grandkids now. You know? No, but I'm, I, I'm loving I, life, I, right? I, 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 I understand. I understand that. It's, uh, I tell Jason's drums that. <laughs> no, I, I, how do we? How have we never jammed together? You I don't never know. filled in for Marge and Attica or nothing, dude. It's like it never happened. How? Yeah, like always being in the how? same. I, I how? Have, actually, to be quite honest with you, I have no idea. Me neither. I have no idea how that's so, happened. Actually, you know, this would be a pretty cool uh, a jam band right here. We can make it happen. I, I, I think right now. we should do a we song at the end of the night. We'll think of something. He can play the thing. Pat's got a cousin I, bass. I, I He's bass, got the. Man. You say you like a cousin, but you could do like a Doors tune oh, or something. Shit. I could do it. Yeah. yeah. So we, we'll, we we'll figure voice. that out, and we'll do something by here tonight. And uh, we are going to put in some clips of everybody here. We going to commercial or something? No, not quite. Because <laughs> <this man. laughs> I got a piss. What is this? Oh, oh all right. So we'll be right back. Right now, <laughs> <laughs> right, we are going to take a right short pause. We'll be right so back. Monday night, yeah. 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 Monday night music madness. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be right back. Clap my hands. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Monday night music madness. Right now, we're going to show you some clips of Mr. Patrick Minolpi and all his musical accomplishments. Stick around.
welcome back, Monday Night Music Madness. We're having a great time here tonight. Patrick Nolte, Darling Cherry, Jason Bittner, and Vegas over there in the corner, chilling like Dylan. So, uh, anyway, we were talking about Motley Crue, the big reunion tour. And I know a lot of people are very excited. And they're going to go out and spend a lot of money to go see it. And, you know, God bless you. But anyway, Darla and Chrome here was telling me a little story about Motley Crue, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, back in, <clears throat> God, I don't even know what year it was, I think. Probably had to be in the 80s. 2000, 2012? Oh. I'm going to say 11 You're going one of the ways I know. No, the no with the roller coaster. I knew, I knew Thomas oh. Tech at that time. Okay. Because so I actually brought something for him so that I, day. Okay, so I think it was 2011. They played at SPAC. And um, I had won a radio contest where I actually got to ride with Tommy Lee on his loop. You really did? Look See? it up on YouTube. Darla oh, Cherry rides Tommy Lee's roller coaster. I never, I'll come oh, I never knew. Is that what it's called? Oh. Yeah, right. I'll second that. Was there. Oh, you were I there, saw there you too? I, I saw her on the big screen. I was like, holy shit. I am hitting my wife. and that's fucking Darla right there. Holy <laughs> shit. How cool was that? It was super cool, but I, I got to say. Was it scary? It, no, God, no. They they made me sign a well, contract. Well, you probably had a big swamp around you. Well, they made Keeping you sign you a contract that you couldn't drink <laughs> at all, you know. So you didn't puke. Right. Well, I wasn't going to puke. I love roller coasters. But the, the thing that sucked was I had to go back, like, two songs prior to when I was going to supposedly win. No. They made me uh, put this harness on. Mm. Okay, because well, yeah, I had to be they strapped in. I don't want to get through safety. <laughs> well, no, safety is no accident, folks. Yeah, right. I had to be strapped in, and they gave me the stinkiest, dirtiest, uh -huh. biggest, sweat bound, Pure motley soap. shirt you could imagine to cover the harness. Uh, and it smelled like probably Dio. worn by the truck driver. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mel, like, give her your shirt. Well, you no problem, <laughs> Mel. <laughs> no, the truck driver's dog probably wore it. <laughs> so. So I put on this harness. I put on this stinky, dirty, disgusting uh, shirt. It was 100 degrees that day. It was dead summer. Uh, it was so hot. Uh, and all I could smell was B.O., but I'm like, I'm meeting yeah. Tommy <laughs> Lee. I'm well, getting on that get the ride on that. That's pretty cool. Yep, so I guess. If, you, if you put on YouTube, Darla Cherry, Tommy I never Lee knew Coaster, that. You hey, you hear that, Joe? Like, well, look, we got to edit that in. To oh, God, segment. that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Speaking of edited in, um, oh, hi, what'd you do? I met Tommy Lee too. He was a jerk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you weren't going to talk about that. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Up. He's not going to say anything. He was a That's jerk. Yeah. 
I got a couple. Of, tell me. He was, uh, the, no, uh, he was the opposite no, yeah. of Corey oh, Gunn. Let's put it that way. It, it was All right, just, that's I, a that's yeah. a PC way to say it, but this show ain't fucking PC, so Fuck you know. That. All right, he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> but you know who wasn't? Neil Parrott. Yeah, that's right, Tommy oh, Lee. Oh wow, because he's a fucking gentleman, I would imagine. He's, huh? he's a sweetheart. He seems it. You got to hang out with him too, huh? And he's and he's fucking. I and just had he's you actually a guess. drummer. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's actually, actually, he's actually drummer. a drummer. Yes, yeah. yeah. the uh, greatest well, one out there. You think? <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you add? Vegas? No, no, no. It's just I got to spend time because uh, my friend Morgan Rose. Morgan, you know, I Morgan? just sent Morgan a text last night. I heard. That Me too. Yeah. Have you heard any news today? Yeah. What he's uh, he's, he's going home soon. Stable. Good. Yeah. But good. He's got more more stuff coming up. But so good. News. But he's getting better though. He's getting better. So that's good. News. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Tommy Lee had burned his hand on one on one of the Motley Crue tours, and Morgan they called Morgan to fill in. But oh, Morgan no had sent his gear to my house. Was going to do my demo for Selfish Needed Creatures, and oh, another bear we didn't mention. Yeah, that's Selfish Needed Creatures. And uh, so his his tech at the time called and he was like, oh, they, um, "Morgan has to go." You know, he told me the story, and he's like, "But uh, he's, he wants you to come hang out for a, you know a couple of days." So we went, and you know, Motley Crue don't, they don't speak to each other, so they've got. <laughs> oh, they've got not everything. only their own buses, yeah, yeah their own got every day. The, the, oh, their own far away from each other, yeah, right. So just I, and I, I obviously I was hanging with Morgan, who was with Tommy Lee. So we were just, it was just like the three of us on the bus, and you know, before the show, it was what's up, brother. It was just like you say, what's up, brother. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I see him back there. He's drinking. He's doing nothing but partying because he doesn't have to play. So Morgan's, you know, feeling. And then we go and the back after the show and it was just like ah! you know it smashing glass it was just rock and roll shit man it was it was yeah, great well, that's uh, he, it was start. dr jekyll and mr Hyde, man for sure <laughs> well i'll call i could do that to anyone i wish my yeah, memory was better I, listen i'm no yeah what the hell am i just hey Jesus i get Christ. happier I, i'm the complete opposite when i'm not drinking i'm very violent <laughs> <laughs> Why I smoke weed, dude? You ever seen hey, it? don't mention that on the show. No. Oh, I don't. I, I, okay, so we all I know that Johnny's weed. been drinking today because he's being super fun and friendly. Yeah, I'm right. not up to par yet. Still <laughs> early though. The night's young. The night is young. The night is so young. are we? And so are, well, we used to be. Well, speaking of, at this point, we're going to take another quick break, and right now we're going to edit to some video for Mr. Jason Bittner. Stick around.
everybody out there. We hope you all have a great holiday. Merry Christmas. I want to thank my guests, Patrick, Darla, Jason, Vegas. Matter of fact, before we even try this, hey, man, got Darla, um, you got a show coming up, don't you? Coming well, soon? I have a show specific to the ladies, actually. Yeah, let's see that. Hold that. Oh, look at Jason. Oh, holding up. I know, I know there are some ladies that actually watch the show, so I'm going to try to boost this. It's actually happening on Leap Year in February, and uh, we're going to have all these men, but actually it's going to be Patrick... Vegas, Jason, and John. Nobody's going to come. They're, they're I'll be just, on tour. I'll be on the West Coast. Actually, just, I'll be in San Diego that day. They're just using Lucky the faces. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to be up here in the cold. But anyways, <laughs> ladies, this is the place to be for Leap Year this year. The, is that the, me on the end? Yep, Girls Night Out with Johnny Morris. <laughs> yeah. He'll be in the kitchen cooking. I ain't had a Girls Night Out in quite a while. <laughs> 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 but anyway, haven't even had a Girls Night in? <laughs> hey! Yeah, you might want to come to us. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> All right. I thought you had your best. No, I... Hey, welcome back. Monday Night Music Madness. Here from Johnny World. Radio Radio X. Chrome Food and Spirits. The Pizza Stop. Cahoe, New York. Ontario Street. Check it out. Pat was just... Pat showed up with this. And by the way, I want to thank Patrick for showing up last minute. Uh, my trash couldn't make it with us tonight, so Patrick was gracious enough to show up, and he brought this acoustic bass, and the thing sounds fucking great, I think. Yeah, it's, it's so tell, you were telling me a story. But it's crap. About. Twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Twenty American dollars. Okay? Anything you can get to make yeah. noise. Anything for twenty $20 American dollars that I can your ass. I bought a lot of more things for right. twenty bucks. Exactly. I spent twenty bucks on much yeah. yeah. Got ripped off holes, whatever. But that Filipino anyways, over the last week. Oh no, I'm at work I'm one day. I'm going back. scrolling through my phone at, on a marketplace and uh, you know, whatever, Facebook or Craigslist, one of them. I, I email the woman, she's like I was like, Do you love, don't you mean two hundred? She says, No, twenty. Will you be there at 5 o'clock? Yes, I, on my motorcycle, I go out. Literally, I, I go out there, I check it out. I'm on like, your motorcycle? Yes. Take what my you do? Strap it to your back. Yes, listen, <laughs> let me finish. So I take my money. I I, I, I usually carry something in, in my saddlebags to you know, tie shit down with. I have nothing. The dude gives me a guitar strap. Literally, I take this thing, and I look like fucking Al Pancho <laughs> going, riding off into the sunset, because now it's 6.30, and I'm riding west. And the people behind me must have had an awesome fucking picture because I'm oh. like a guy, a cowboy on his fucking horse, you know, riding off into the sunset with a guitar on his back. What if that so strap surreal. broke? I would have been fucked. I would have lost yeah, 20 bucks. Yeah, but only lost 20 bucks. Only 20 bucks. Yeah, but still. How much was the gas little, to get out there? Hey, give him a little. My, my motorcycle, about oh. 39 cents. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, right, $20 right, and right. 39 cents. So, you know, <laughs> the strings yeah. are worth more. I spent more money on the fucking yeah, strings. Yeah, right. Well, play a little on it. Let him hear that. Little, play a little funky shit for a little bit. Too. Yeah, that's good. All right. Anyways, you want to do a song? Anyway, you know what would have been? You know what would have been good? You you get the bass and you pay the twenty bucks. Thanks. And he just blues it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. It's funny you say that. I watched a video of. <laughs> oh, that would have been good. One of the Primus drummers. Just Brian, leave the piece that. And leave. He actually did that. He bought a drum set. He videotaped it. He went to the guy's garage. <laughs> And he played the drum kit. Oh, no, I really like the kit. This is great. <laughs> How much you want for it? He was, you know, I'm not even going to negotiate. Here you go. He gave, he gave him the money, and then he took the drum set, and he tied it to his car and drove away. <laughs> Dragging no, it? It's on, it's on YouTube. Dude, check it out. What do you mean he tied it to his car? What? what? <laughs> He dragged it. He, oh, he dragged, dragged it. it. Yeah. He hooked the, He tied shit to it. Oh, drove, he tied all the drums Tied it to the bumper of his car and drove away with it and dragged it home. I've seen awesome. a guy. I've seen a video of a guy do that with a guitar. Yeah. It's going down the street. It was that making should, noise. That should be illegal, though. I mean, that's... Well, it's, it's an instrument. Yeah, it's an it's instrument. Right. I mean, come on. It's but anyways, a tool. speaking of instruments, let's play ours. Yeah. Okay. Let's right. get festive. Yeah, let's get a little festive this You know you better not pow, baby, I'm telling you why. Help me out, people. Sandy is on the town. 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 Sandy is on the 
Grabbing your balls and jacket for life. Sell some town. Sell some town. Sell You better be. I can't feel like that. <laughs> you better watch out, you better not cry. You better not pop out, you better not Sing it, people. Stand in the folks going to town. Stand in the folks going to town. Stand the clock is coming to town. I hope you all make it out there to share it. We'll be right back with more Monday Night Music Madness. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be funny. It'll fucking make me funny. Welcome back. Monday Night Music Madness, live from Johnny World. My guest, Patrick McNulty, Darnell Cherry, Jason Bittner, Vegas Macy. Jason. Whatever. Yeah, man. Doctor. Thanks for coming out. Doctor. 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 God damn it, Jim. <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for coming out, man. This is kind of our holiday episode. We're hoping to have it out by Christmas. If you guys are lucky, that'll be your present. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, and that and Motley Crue tickets. What is going on? Oh, there is an announcement I did want to make that I didn't make earlier. And uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with our group, the Capital Area Music, through the decades. It's Pretty cool. We're getting it's awesome. A lot yeah. of cool Great job in there. A lot of a lot of cool sharing of old times. Yeah, I just day. unearthed a few pictures from me playing at the gallery that I'm going to put up. So oh, 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 yeah. 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 Everything you got, yeah, it's like it's yeah. like gold. Some yeah. of the people. That's a great site. Man. I can't that, believe. I thank you. Thing. you see oh, the old thank winter, you guys for being. You see there. the old Saratoga Winters flyers with you know yeah. all the bands yeah, I played. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's like oh my god. Speaking of driving here, the only thing I kept thinking about was playing at Nicole's. Remember Nicole's? Yes, down in Saratoga Street. Oh yes! Oh yes! Scott I Matthews. do. Before before it was that room, was before, before it was actually rumors. Bar, yeah, wasn't rumor, it? yeah, it was rumors back yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before that, it was the Coles. Yeah. Coles, all ages club. Oh, all ages. shit! Yeah, yeah. Juice, bar. Yeah. juice yeah. bar. Yeah, it was a juice yeah. bar. It was a juice bar. Yeah. It was a juice yeah. bar. Yeah. Then it turned into yeah. rumors. You can play in front of all twenty of your friends. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And then it turned into rumors, and then it was five dollars drinking with Lincoln, and there'd be people coming in with five bucks and change, and everybody be shit faced. It's a flower shop. Now, ain't it? Yeah, last I knew, it was, <laughs> last I knew it was a flower yeah. shop. Most Dude, of all the old good videos. How many people can say they played in the flower shop? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we right. all have. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we tiptoed through the tulips. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Well, you're crazy, we are, aren't you? So, you silly fuck. And, <laughs> I forgot where the hell I was even going with this question. <laughs> It was something about, oh, my. Capital Oh, yeah, the music page. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. So, yeah, and we do a thing, Rocker Chick of the Month. And I want to announce here and now that Darla Cherry, you are oh. the Rocker Chick of the Month for January. 2020! You're going to get... <laughs> yeah, man. You're the 2020 honey bunny. You're the 2020 honey. Oh, Bye. thanks, Johnny. That's awesome. Well, that picture I put up with you was beautiful. You got a lot of compliments on that. Oh, I d oh thank you. Well, you're more than welcome. That'll be 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you later. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm good for you, it. You throw me a couple beers at some point, I'm sure. A couple bucks. Hey, I brought some tonight, so... I know. Swear. I haven't even got to them yet. I'm still on the bush. <laughs> Maybe I should oh. go to the buds and trim the bush. <laughs> Oh, Wait a minute, no, I'm burn the, the bush. Let's burn the bush. No, but anyway, no, Charlotte, no, Mary is no, 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 I've had enough of that. I've had enough of that no, nonsense. No, 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 the I'm wet not, seal looks gone. I'm not talking about that. Glasses. Whoa, dude, you got some hang-ups going on over there. Oh, I sure do. I know you do. You've been a, been a hair man your whole life. What are you talking about? The, it's... <laughs> Uh, you, you're losing me. All right, okay. You're going on a topic. I think, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, Me and Vegas have always had a long-going argument about, when we were in the Bruce Brothers, there was always this long-going argument about hardwood floors or fully carpeted apartments. Not fully carpeted, landscape. Or landscape. All right. So you're talking landscape. about landscaping now. No, right? no, 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 no. We're talking about women. Talking oh, about the ladies, oh, all right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, am one who prefers maybe just a little top hat up there. Wow, this is like, taking a real turn. Merry Christmas, baby! I, I 
like hardwood floors. Yeah. Vegas <laughs> likes wall to wall carpeting. Come on, no, that's, 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 wait a minute. That's, no. No. Wall to wall shag carpeting. Hey, wait a minute. Now I got the perfect one. Not to interrupt you. But speaking of Darla's doing her male dancer oh. show. I actually played one of them at Saratoga Winners once, okay. and the, and the guy I think I don't know if we played before. I think we played before or after. That. Reeks, you you perform more something like so like that. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you, Jason, for the visual. Just a wisp. Yes, just a wisp. A landing strip, if you will. Oh God. A landing strip. Look. No way. Where's anyway. Vegas? I gotta get this. <laughs> <laughs> That's that male strip show she's doing. I played one at, at, at the winners one time, and I think we played before. And there was a bunch of older, horny women, you know, not the most attractive things in the world, but hey, they need loving too. And most most of the guys that were the dancers were, were gay, so the band got the leftovers. I wonder I how he knows that. I, I was just wondering about the leftovers. You got the because he only had a whistle. <laughs> he manscaped, man. Oh, that's how I knew. Well, that's... Listen, you don't buy a million well, dollar house to rip up the lawn, right? <laughs> well, no, you landscape it nice. Well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. All right. Well, this guy's doing the MC, and he goes, <laughs> here comes Bruno. He goes, Bruno's wearing a fur G-string. Bruno's got ball-to-ball -ball carpeting. Ball-to-ball -ball carpeting. <laughs> and that's what reminded me when he said that. Sorry, I had to get that story out. No, like, no, that's had, good. You had more to say. I no, no, that's, that's I said, yeah. I just wish you used to be a male dancer, didn't you? What? <laughs> What? No. No. <laughs> it's not what the guys at the waterworks tell me. <laughs> oh, 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 you were talking, oh, to, the, oh you were talking to the guys from the waterworks when? <laughs> Last week, but I was there for I was there for two for Tuesday. Oh my god. Oh, god. He, he walked out with three. <laughs> <laughs> he had a special on cockaritas. Oh my god. Oh, Hold the olives. Free prostate exam. Oh, oh, where the it. fuck is this show going? Oh, I don't know. I know. Well, we took I, I a bad turn, but I wish my memory was better for some of these Bruce Brothers shows because we did a lot of things. A lot of road trips were just. Oh, my God. And you insane, know. Baltimore, right? right now, let's go with the Baltimore one because this is great. <laughs> Because Pretty weird. We go from uh, like women's thing to Baltimore. <laughs> but hey, I'll go with hey, it. It's on the subject of hair. My drummer, right. who is a our drummer at the time, Matt Belensky. I love you. I'm sorry I missed you, brother. I'm sorry I missed your birthday party, dude. I was there. Yeah, so was I, I had yeah, a we were there, day. Matt. Yeah, I, so, I got the wrong day. I had it in my head. It was freaking Saturday. It was Friday night. Yeah. And I, I'm like, and then I start seeing pictures on Facebook. I'm like, oh. I, just, I like how I I, when anybody explains anything about the computer or something, they either go like this or they go like this. Did you ever notice that? I do this. So I'm yeah. not a yeah, you, know, you do it on your phone. Exactly. I twiddle it. But anyway, you twiddle it. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, he. No, he what do you do when you're on the phone? Though? He's a hairdresser. He, yeah, right. We're yeah. driving through the yeah, we're driving through the city of Baltimore where nobody should be driving. Okay, for hours. Lock them up. Hours and hours. Right. Roll them up. Now, hey, how we survived this gauntlet roll that we just driven through because it's not a very nice neighborhood. It, most of Baltimore, I hate to say it, but it's oh, really... Get out, get out. Can I interject yeah, that Matt had long ghetto. blonde hair and blue eyes, too? <laughs> no, multicolored, <laughs> rainbow-colored hair, dude. So, oh, he, anyways, we yeah, find one yeah. hotel in the Harbor District. We send him in. Get us a room. Purple hair, yeah. It. Really, dude, it was purple, it was gold, it was red, yeah. it was... I mean, you know... It, it looks so, like, in the way you were... It looked like Johnny's house. It's it's like anyway, this is the guy... All right. After we're fucking tripping our balls off all night, me and him, me and Matt. Yeah, we do not drugs the on show. Driving. We do not condone the drugs. The guy's drugs. driving, exactly, and navigating, no less. But anyways, so Matt, go in and get us a hotel room. Well, they send them. They reject them, of course. But they said, however, they reject them, of however, however, you're more than welcome to go to the parking garage. So, 
So there we go. Right? So up in the parking garage, we wake up the next morning. It's just crashed just... in the van, or whatever. oh yeah, oh yeah. It was a... how many guys in the van? Oh, there was five of us. No, there was more than that. Six, seven, maybe uh, seven. We had... Seven dudes in a van. We had the four of us and a couple of crews. Right, a couple. And crew you think my but... house smells like smoke, darling? Uh, I've yeah. been in that van. It's oh. and it's July. It's night. Uh, oh, uh, good uh, lord. Oh. Well, we wake up the next morning. It's like fucking nine thousand degrees. And we open the doors and. Where are we? We're in the middle of the Harbor District. We that's where we ended up. I look around. Baltimore Ravens Stadium is right there. Oriole Stadium is right there. The Harbor District. I'm looking at the Hard Rock Cafe. I'm like, wow, we fucking scored. Now I'm still tripping my balls off. <laughs> However, Jesus. what do we what do we do? More drug stuff. We go to fucking Hooters and start drinking pictures of beer. Was that there? Yeah. Was that with you? Dude, for real? This was. Because you, you guys left me. No, the next time. Oh, are you in the, in the van? Oh, we, no, 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 no. Yeah, but in, put it no, in there. The first we didn't leave. Drunk. No, 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 no. We didn't leave you. You were kidnapped. What? Uh, you well, were kidnapped that's why by this. Story by who? The Blones. Hey. That was next night. Hey, to the Blones. To the Blones. Anyways. Ask Matt about the Blones. Who are you? Are you for real? Yes. Dude, you were all Next fucked. time I get my hair done. Dude, you were hammered. In a few weeks, I'll ask him the... the dude, you were hammered. Story. You were hammered. You had to hang up with corn nuts, dude. You, 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 you were in love with corn nuts. Dude, you gotta eat these fucking corn nuts. He's throwing them all over the fucking den. Corn nuts? I yes. never even heard of corn yeah. nuts. You know, the little what? bags, it's like bar food, oh, dude. Nuts? You buy these, you get them out of the vending machine. The little yes. bags of fucking planters, corn nuts, right? Is that there? I don't know what the uh, fuck they were. Something. No, but that's what my last girlfriend told me. Anyways, I I corn nuts. So, so I'm grateful. Single. There was no cell phone, video, <laughs> nothing <laughs> back <laughs> then because <laughs> our lives would have been a whole lot different today. Yeah, but guess what? Insane. I just found. I know, and I wanted to see that. I found a whole box. I know of those tapes, and that trip is is in there, Matt. We're, the club was be- the night before was Philly. We were in yes, we were in he, Philly one night. He balls does the his fire and the and you just see the roof go light up. Yes, oh, really? and, and the yeah. order was like, well, this was before. Uh, and, wait a minute, oh, yeah, that, yeah, that, that could have been like a great white situation. This was yeah. before yeah. the great white thing. This was before great white. This white, was before so. all that went down. And then once that happened, we, we were like. Dude, you can't do that no more. I mean, clubs were not having it no more. No, and, well, why uh, the it, fuck would they? But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a funny story too because we're doing our promo pictures and where's that bar on on, on Lark? Susie's or uh, yeah, the little yeah, basement Susie's. bar, right? So we're taking our promo pictures and Matt says, oh, "I'm gonna hold some flames." So we go like <laughs> third degree burns later. All yeah, the magic. I'm gonna hold he, some flames. Uh, <laughs> he blistered up like the fucking Toxic Avenger. This is the guy who cuts fucking, my hair. Yeah. Was like, hey, this is my now hair. Now he's trying to put it out. He's waving his arms and the flames are getting bigger. I'm gonna hold flames. Yeah, he burned his hands off. Now he's like fucking Edward Scissor's hands. Yeah, he wonders where his hands hurt. The only saving grace is we had no gigs coming. So he had a little bit of a fucking yeah. chance for his hands. Yeah. Well, did yeah. he try to put that gel or something? Yes, he put. No, it wasn't gel. He, Ronson fucking uh, oh, uh, geez, charcoal fluid. Supposed to put some gel. That's in that what he shit. used to blow fire with, dude. It was charcoal lighter <laughs> fluid. I'm like, wow. I got pictures. What the going, fuck did he think was going to happen? The photographer was going no. as he went, but realized like, oh fuck, you know. And he's he like, lit the oh, bar, oh, right? Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we made a line down the bar or something, right? And we lit the bar and fire and the mass sitting there holding and everything just fucking. Yep. But got real big real fast, and all of a sudden he's Jeez. waving his arms and he's fucking dead. Yeah. The flames are getting bigger. What did he think was gonna happen? Jesus Christ! Matt doesn't. You'll, you'll never see Matt anywhere anymore because he he lived a thousand lives and he doesn't. Oh my God! Oh, I know he did. I know that. I know that. I know that. I, the last Matt time, is my all time favorite Matt. drummer. He oh. reminds. Whoa! My, Whoa! I'm Whoa! So, Whoa! Holy! Hey, listen! In my that. defense, I, I never jammed with Jason. But, I don't take oh, Matt is my oh, all-time favorite Matt's drummer. You know why? Because Matt too. is my fucking Keith Moon. Matt's one of my favorite drummers. He is drummers Keith Moon. Is he not? He's better than Keith Moon, but dude, he's just as nuts. Wow. Just as fuck. That's what I love about it, dude. <laughs> he's I'm just, just as nuts. Here's my Matt story. <laughs> yeah, he is. One night, everybody told me. Yeah, trying to outdrink you. Oh, this guy, Matt, he's fucking nuts. And they can be the damn thing. He goes, yeah, I hear you like to drink. Johnny, come here. I partake in the one or two here and there. Oh, God. Oh, in that I'm right going to drink you under the table tonight. I said, okay, there. Matty boy, let's go. 
It didn't. It didn't I, work out. That, that didn't him. work out well for Are you that. serious? I might oh, yeah, be. No. I might. Much, wow. I'm a little man. Come on. Like, no, I know. No, I know. You're talking to the Godfather here. Oh I mean, my God. Me. No, I think he got the Pope. Carried. I think he got carried out that night. He, yeah, that, that was a yeah, lot of. I took him home. Yeah, you, I was. That's the last. The last time I ever saw him carried out. 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 Party was at. David Lee Roth at Northern Lights, and I was there. I was there. I was in Shadows Fall. It was probably 2003, 2004. Yes, yes. Where I was did, there? Yeah, where yeah, was we, Matt at the end of the night? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's in know. front of the club, sleeping what? against the window. Oh my god! Sleeping against the window in front of the club. He had a cigarette club. in his hand, probably right. <laughs> sleeping right here. Yep. Well, the man likes his drink. You're then right. I'll make him a bad guy. Yep, he's yeah. good. Just leave me here. Just because the man likes his drink, good. don't make him a bad look good. I've had too many, too many good times with Matt, though. Oh, yeah. No. Because him and I, you know, oh. we were... It was like you two. And then there was the rest of the band. Yeah, which was the other two. <laughs> right. <laughs> you would want... There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing against you guys, but we I didn't think... Party. We didn't party. We me and Matt, But we me, and Matt, that might... me and Matt bonded immediately, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there, we had... A, there, there was a rhythm section that nobody could touch. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to toot my own fucking horn. That's me exactly... Me and Matt Belinsky, why there's going to be a surprise us, okay? 2020. Anyways, but any, you know. I'm looking to start a new hard rock project. I don't know if Matt can handle being a band with me. He no, wouldn't do it. He won't he do wouldn't it. Do it. He don't, he, he, I want to try to get him to jam. Dude, come on. I'll come yeah, up to your house. You know, you know, I'll have it. Oh, my oh, God. Let's get this bastard <laughs> on. This will be the first on Monday Night Music. Get him on the phone. Wait a minute. I'm going to call him. They, 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 I am. I will. Oh, I, I was going to say, put him on speakerphone. Call him and put yeah, him on speakerphone. Put him on speaker. Yeah, this will What's be a the cell. The six nine zero zero. Yes, yes. That's the cell number, right? Yep. He's only got one number now. I know, but I have his home phone in there too. Eight six seven five three zero nine. That's, That's not, no one is why I can't reach him. <laughs> Get him on the phone. This is going to be epic. Why are you, Hi, are you there? Faster? I'm here. You're there. I should FaceTime you instead. You're a cunt. It would be better. You're a fucking cunt. Oh, I hear. I know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking cunt. <laughs> well, well. Well, there's a bet going that uh, John Morris wants you to be his new drummer in his new hard rock band. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Johnny's not even here to hear this right now. Come I know where to go. It's too loud. What the hell's going on? Belinsky. Yes. It's Vegas. What up? Oh Sorry, God. I had to take a peek. <laughs> You're missing some good stuff, man. Oh, you'll, Sorry, be, you'll be able to see it all on YouTube in a few Sorry, weeks. Matt. I had to take a peek. I drink a lot, unlike you, baby. I'm ready whenever you are. Oh my God, you got, look at the, you got all sorts of uh, lunatics there. <laughs> wait a minute, know, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm oh. here, Matt. I'm keeping everybody in line. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, man. Well, she's a daughter best anyway. All right, you know. You can't blame a girl for crying. Right. You're actually on, you're actually going to be on the show because we you're the first yeah, you're the yeah, first, yeah. You're the first ever call in uh, guest. Yeah, yeah no, we called much, you. Are you picking him up? <laughs> Is that Mike picking yeah. him up? Yeah, we called out to get a call in guest. <laughs> you're the first call in guest on Monday Night Music Madness ever, Matt. You should be honored. Well, you're going to win two tickets to see Motley Crue <laughs> <laughs> from the parking lot the at the park. next arena they play. The Don't park. worry, mate. It's on me. I got you. And a six-pack of Bush Tall Boys. With nipples. With, With nipples. nipples. <laughs> I'll even give you a free nipple. He don't know what nipples oh, are, but he'll learn. Holy shit. This is good. You guys are like comedy. <laughs> yeah, I wish they'd give us a deal. We're trying to put this show on the air, you know anybody? Know, right? Matt's trying to tuck his dog. <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. Is he really? He's walking around. Right <laughs> he, he probably took us off speakerphone within like eight seconds of oh, the yeah. call, right? Hey, I got a question. I got a question from... <laughs> what? Hey, what? He goes, there's no way you're on speakerphone. <laughs> oh, you're going to be on the show, mate. I need you to sign a waiver. <laughs> So, Guy, Guy, listen, we're telling stories about Baltimore 
And oh, we didn't even got the hempstock and harvest fest. Wait, yet. wait. Well, what was that? What was the, the blowing? What the blowing? Oh, the oh, blowing! Oh, oh yeah. You need to you you need to remind oh. Vegas what the blowings are, bro. All right. He was kidnapped. Like, uh, remember? Jason. Remember he got kidnapped. Up a little more to the media. Yeah, where the hell was that? That was in Philly, Baltimore. That was a that was a Philly, Baltimore weekend with uh, who the hell was that band that? that Buddha Swank? Buddha yeah, or, uh, Co uh, yeah, no, who the fuck it was Buddha, yeah, Buddha Swank, you're right. Yeah. You, you remember them guys? I remember the band. Yeah, I, I don't remember. Yeah, but, well, you, of course we don't remember that weekend, because we were fucking... Paul, do you remember burning your hands? Do you remember burning your hands? Opening my case and the fire extinguisher had gone off and... What did he say? I can't hear. He opened... Oh, my God. case and the fire extinguisher. drum case. <laughs> oh, I, I, I was just uh, informed of the story in the photo shoot where you fucking lit your hands on fire. Yeah, so you know, no one cares about me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope that hailed up by now. They didn't care. Well, they also didn't light your hands on fire. Uh, you yeah, were I was going to say, you yeah, yeah, they take, they take too long to do anything, you know? <laughs> No, dude, my beer was on your hands in seconds, bro. I I, I dumped my entire beer on your fucking hands. Wow, that's, you a, don't remember that's that? a true friend because that's I would have never I done know, that. I know, Johnny wouldn't fucking do that. I would have pissed on him, man. Yeah, exactly. Johnny, Come on, man. Beer. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, good times. Good times. <laughs> All right. Hey, Matt, man, thanks for tuning in. You're the first caller we ever had on this show, man. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, after we hang up, you're going to have to talk to my uh, talent agent and we get your address and send you those tickets to the Motley Crew parking lot show and a, a six pack of Bush beer. Yeah, I want a signed hat. Also, uh, I'm going to. Um, you want a signed what? I want a signed hat. Sign one, one of your hats. He wants one of your signed hats. Oh, I thought he said head. <laughs> well, all right, well, then fucking give him head. I don't give a fuck. Whatever you want to do. I, hey, you know. let's not push it. He's lucky to get the Motley Crew parking lot tickets. Hey, that's right. I forgot about the parking lot tickets. Yeah. Oh, and Bush Beer. Well, you do have to give somebody head for the parking lot tickets, didn't you? <laughs> no, no, I know no? people. Oh, no. all right. Well, Johnny said uh, he can drink you under the table. Yeah, we found that out. He's probably right. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? Right, I told I don't you, man. Come on. He knew he admitted defeat, right? I, mean, I don't know how I missed that shit show. I really Dude, oh, that was a shit show that night because I got I got him at the end of that night. And I, I was the guy who took him home and made sure he didn't drown in his own blood. Hey, in my oh. defense, yeah. in my defense, he started it. He brought the, I just he called myself. the challenge, but Johnny stepped up and, you know, of course, you know, Johnny being the pope that he is. Can't call out a gunslinger. You, Exactly, dude. You don't call it. Smash it. It's like going to a fucking gunfight with a knife. Right. Yeah. Come on. I told him he was in for a fucking world of hurt. And Matt, that's back when Matt, I was don't go up. there. I got this. And that's back Guy, when I Guy, I got this. Yeah, okay. I was yeah. drinking a lot of whiskey then, yeah, too. Yeah, well, so was he. <laughs> a lot of Captain Morgan back then. One of us did, Jared, oh. one of us didn't. Hey, I love you, brother. You are going to be on this show. You'll see the links when yeah, it comes out. Yeah, you are going to be on this yeah. show. We're going, to, we're going to let you go there. And kid. I'll make sure I'm on the show that day, too. Hey, and by the way, Merry Christmas, brother. Yeah, Merry Christmas, bro. Hey, happy Merry birthday. Christmas. I'm sorry I missed your party, you fucker. I know. You didn't care. You're right. I didn't care right, for right. once in my life. No. All right. Good night, brother. Cheers. All right. We'll see you. Bye. Later. Later. Oh, yeah. That so, yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Brick Click. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking missed the button. I know. Yeah. Uh, that would have been, been epic. Our, if you camera really cut them off. Been dead, but... Our cameras are dying. That was right. a long segment. Oh, I know. Oh, oh my God. That, that was fucking. That was. That was hey, right we made history. That was the television show right there. Television the history. We're going to take a short pause, and we'll be right back. Monday Night Madness. Our oh first God. call in ever. Thank great. you, Matt. That Thank was, you, Matt. That was great. Hey, let's give Matt a round of applause, everybody. Thank you, Matt. We'll be right back. Cheers. Uh, All right, right about this injecture. Injecture. Point injecture. On the Monday Night Music Madness show. We're going to cut to some clips from Mr. Vegas Nacy over here from his various projects throughout the years. Tune in, stick around. Friends, shit's about to get real. Show some love. Oh
welcome back to Monday Night Music Magic. Here from Johnny World. Don't forget, Radio X, Chrome Food and Spirits, and the Pizza Stop, goes New York. We're going to try this song, unrehearsed, but uh, a great band of smithereens, Pat the Newsiologist, um, it was the anniversary of his death on December 12th. And, and if you don't know the smithereens, they are members of the New Jersey Hall of Fame. As well they should be. Go ahead, Patrick. Let's hear what that $20 bass sounds like. Scratch the surface of everyone's stories. I want oh, to thank man. Patrick Mignolpe, Darla, Jason Bittner, Vegas Nation, thank you everybody guys. Thank for being here. Please tune in, share with your friends, sponsor rock music. Thank you all. Cheers. Good night. On behalf of Monday Night Music Madness and my stinky beard, I want to thank all my guests, Patrick, Darla, <laughs> Jason, and Vegas, for being here tonight. And we want to wish you all a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Now fuck off. Now fuck her <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs>
things I'm moving back to the hotel. I drink and 